Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? I am so excited about today's video. I actually purchased some makeup from a brand I've been dying to try for a very long time. So if you want to see what products I purchased, please continue watching. And let's not waste any time and let's just get right into this one. It feels so amazing to be back. I have missed you guys so much, but the kids are now officially Arizona residents, and honestly, I just can't even go there right now. I would break down in tears, and we will discuss all of that a different day because I do want to share uh, the trip with you guys, but today we're just going to focus on this makeup. I'm super excited about it. Like I said, you know, I've been dying to try this for a very long time, but, you know, it's powdered makeup, so it makes me nervous. If you guys don't know, if you're new, I'm 52 years old. I have very dry skin. Uh, the T-zone does get oily, but other than that, it's textured, it's dry. Powdered products just make me nervous. But, you know, I see a lot of reviews on it over on TikTok here, and it's actually good reviews. And it's the Laura Geller, and um, they had a really good sale going on. Actually, right now, they have an, an amazing sale going on. I mean, literally, this stuff was uh, drugstore prices. So um, hopefully, you know, when this video goes out, you know, those prices will still uh, be available. But let's just get right into it. You guys have already done my eye makeup. Um, and there's just a few products to test out, but it's definitely worth uh, trying. So what I purchased or... Um, uh, yeah, this is what I did purchase. It was like a kit. So it came with, uh, I think it was this one here. <laughs> and this is their Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. And uh, this is in the shade Light. So I got this and it also came with a blush, um, a lipstick, and I believe this highlighter. Um, and it came with some brushes. So I got all of this for a very, very low price. And then I purchased separately um, another foundation. I thought this might, you know, be helpful uh, in the shade medium. So it's the same um, as this one, only just deeper. I thought maybe I could use this, you know, around like a bronzer. So we're going to try it out, you guys. So, oh, and it did come with also, I forgot, you guys. It did come with a, it's called the Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. Uh, it says hydrate and moisturizes and replenishes. So it looks like this is a pretty large tube. So uh, that is good. So let's just get into this, you guys. I'm not even going to use a pore filler, nothing like that. I just want to see what all of these uh, products do. So I'm just going to squeeze this around, you guys. I will touch on the trip a little bit. Um, I had an amazing time. Uh, we got a lot done before we left. Um, we were only there a couple days. And let me just tell you one thing. The food in Arizona is amazing. I am you know, almost glad that I do not live there because I would gain so much weight because it's just so fresh and good. Oh, you guys, but we will talk about that trip, I promise. But I am going to spray my face here, and this is the uh, Dialba spray. And uh, the, you guys, this is my second or third bottle, and this is all that's left. I put it in a travel uh, when I went traveling, so I love this stuff, you know, as you can tell. So I just applied that, you know, to really hydrate my skin. Uh, I just want to give this makeup a really good chance. So let's try out this uh, Spackle uh, primer here. So I'm just going to use maybe two pumps so it looks basically just like a moisturizer and there's absolutely zero scent uh it's much thinner than a moisturizer so that is nice so it does you know slip around the skin really smoothly yeah that feels really refreshing you guys it was like an instant hydration i'm even going to apply some under the eyes here and now I'm just going to let this really just soak in for a couple minutes. Uh, just, you know, I don't want this powder really gripping to it and kind of, you know, sticking, <laughs> you guys, because I just don't know uh, about this product. So I'm just going to let this dry down and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all dried down. Let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into this. So I'm just going to go right into uh, this Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. So what I read about this is it has about a medium coverage, and it's supposed to like be you know, super blurring, and the pigments are supposed to kind of blend into your natural skin tone. So let's see um, how accurate that description is. I don't know, if, you know how long wearing this is. I would love to know if you guys have tried out this uh, Laura Gallo powder foundation and you know what your thoughts are on it 
but um, here is the packaging. It's super pretty, um, just very basic, but I love the black uh, packaging. And this is the powder foundation itself. So it is baked. It has some swirls in there. And I'll try to get really close so you guys can really, you know, take a look at all the pigments in here. And I hope it's not going to be too light. So actually, you know, what I think I'm going to do is start with the darker one and use that you know, around the perimeter. And then maybe just go in with the lighter one. You know what I'm going to do first, you guys? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I thought about this. I need to put on concealer. And, you know, this is a liquid concealer. So I am going to do that first. But what I'm doing uh, right now is I'm putting on, it's called a vitamin, <laughs> it's Vita AC Balm. I said it wrong in another uh, video, but it looks like this. I get it right off Amazon. I've been doing this every day, you guys, that I wear concealer because it really just adds a little hydration under my eyes because they are like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> and yeah, it got worse, you know, while I was there because it's super dry. And I'm actually going to try this AOA um, concealer because I tried it that one day and I, you know, I kind of liked it. It seemed a little dry, but I want to try it, you know, using uh, this under it. So it looks like this is just in the shade a light. So I'm just going to place a little bit on my concealer brush here and apply that so we will really get a feel for this concealer so yeah it's definitely a full coverage and a thicker concealer so i'm just going to drag it a little bit you know beneath the eye too so as you can see i mean <laughs> you know it is pretty full coverage but i will say today it does seem a little creamier um the, you know, then the other day that I tried it, and I think it was the product that I put under it. It was like a squalene, um, and I just, I don't know, you guys. It, I don't think they just played well together. Yeah, as of right now, I'm actually liking this uh, concealer. And if you guys didn't see that video, it's called Miss A or A or something like that. And these products are like $1.25. So I do really want to test some of these out um, more. So that's pretty apple coverage, folks. So <laughs> I do like this. Um, yeah, I like it a lot better today so far. Okay, you guys, let's get into these Laura Geller products. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the medium one. Again, uh, that's the packaging here. And let's just take a look at the difference between the light and the medium. So this is the medium here. And this is the light. This one, it just seems like, as you can see, there's more of, oh, sorry, <laughs> like a gold tone. It uh, looks almost like a green um, on the monitor here. So just very interesting, you guys. So let's start with this one here. And let's take a look at uh, the two different brushes I received. So this one, um, this would be very nice for travel. It uh, comes in a nice sleek uh, black uh, case. It is you know, very hard plastic. Oh, so it's like a retractable uh, brush here, and it's super soft. Ooh, that's really nice. Now, what I did read up about this brush is if you want more lighter of a coverage, um, you know, you have it fully, um, I guess, extended out. And if you want more of a fuller coverage, you make it more dense and uh, bring up this little tubing here, and it will just make it more full coverage. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Then I got this other brush, so I don't know... Uh, the difference between the two, maybe just one is, uh, this one is, hmm, what in the devil? Well, it's broke, <laughs> you guys, so that is not uh, a good start here, but yeah, I was like, what is that, concealer? No, it's broke, but this one is just very tiny. This would probably be very good um, around the T-zone, I would think. I don't know, you guys. We will see, but I'm going to have to hot glue that back together here. Okay, so we're going to start again with this medium um, shade here. And maybe this one, I'll just extend it a little bit just to have a little lighter coverage. So let's test this out, you guys. So as you can see, there is uh, some kickback with that. And let's see what happens here. So yeah, this is a nice... Um, tone uh, around the perimeter of my skin here. So let's just see you guys. Um, I'm just so nervous about this product, you guys. I don't know why. And I do know they have a return uh, policy. So I, you know, if it doesn't work for me, then I will 
definitely send it back, but I really want it to work, you guys, because, you know, I see all of these videos and people's skin just looks so beautiful with it on, you know, and it is geared towards uh, mature skins. I'm just going to show you. Um, it's not super full coverage. As you can see, I do have, um, you know, some dark spots around here. It is, you know, concealing them uh, slightly, but, you know, you can still see your natural skin uh, coming through here. So I don't know, maybe if you build up on it, you would get that full coverage or medium coverage effect. But this is more, if you ask me, um, a lighter coverage. So maybe, I don't know, you guys, maybe I'm just not applying it right. But I'm saying, um, I'm not saying anything really bad about it. I just want you to be aware um, that you will see, you know, imperfections peeking through. Again, you guys know me. Um, that doesn't matter. Uh, I actually kind of like that sometimes. I just, you know, like more skin-like products. Okay, you guys, so I think that looks really good around the perimeter. I think that was good, a choice for me to do. So what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, take a paper towel here and just kind of wipe off that brush, you know, because I'm going to be going into a lighter shade. Okay, so that was the medium and, uh, no, that was medium. And this one here is, you guys, was that the light I was using that whole time? I don't know. Yes, that was, you guys, that was the light. Okay, so, yeah, we have got a problem here. Is that really it? Yeah, you guys, because this is light. And I think that's pretty dark uh, for being a light product. Um, I, it's good for me because I am, you know, self-tanning. But I honestly thought this lighter shade uh, was going to be much lighter. Well, that's a bummer. So I'm going to have to go back around the perimeter with the medium shade and see what shade uh, that is. No, you guys, I did have the right one. I, You guys, I don't know what's happening to me. I think... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now, what I will say, ooh, you guys, I don't know about this. Um, okay, as you can see, this lighter shade, how much glow there is to that. Um, it's kind of accentuating the texture um, around, you know, where I don't want the texture to be seen. And it's weird because, let me just read these two boxes, you guys. Because the medium co coverage looks more matte and the, the, you know, the one, the lighter shade. Okay, here we go, you guys. They are two different um, foundations. So the light one here is the illuminating foundation. And the one that I applied, uh, the darker shade around the perimeter, that is a color correcting a foundation. So as you can see, um, the uh, two differences here. So this one is intended to have some glow illumination going on. Now, what I could possibly do to calm down that glow because I kind of like it. I, I, it's it's very it's very interesting to me. Um, I kind of like that glow factor in the uh, T zone. The only thing is it does kind of accentuate my texture. But what I think I could do is probably put like a light dusting of powder over that just to calm that down a little bit. Um, and let me just take the small broken brush with the medium and just see. If that could kind of, you know, kind of calm the texture peeking through down. I kind of like it, you guys. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's definitely not powder, powdery whatsoever. I will tell you that I promise you it almost, it looks like I have a cream foundation on. It is super pretty. What I think I would do, okay, because I don't want to send back the light, you know, even though it's super glowy, is what I think I would do is honestly maybe mix the two, which I'm going to do right now, and just lightly go over this area here just to calm down that glow. Oh, you guys, I kind of... <laughs> 
like this because it feels like I have absolutely zero on my skin. I even like how it looks on my nose. Um, this is a very interesting product. I'm definitely going to show you what it looks like um, in natural lighting. And I do have like a blemish or something here in it. You know, it does peek through slightly, but not too bad. What do you guys think? Mmm. I'm definitely going to keep you guys posted on how long it lasts, everything. Maybe throughout the day I will put some clips on or something like that. Okay, let's get into these other products and see, um, you know, what we're going to do here. And for bronzer now... Um, I could probably get away with just this and just be more natural, but I do want to try and see what a, you know, if you can use a uh, cream products over that. So I brought down my Rare Beauty, uh, and this is in the shade, oh, what is it, you guys, Happiness. So I'm just going to use my regular uh, bronzing brush here, which is the BK Beauty, and I am just going to see if you were able to go over this product with the cream here. And, ooh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know if it's gripping it or something, or I just applied uh, too much. But as you can see, like, you know, how, I guess you would say potent or how um, bold this really looks. So I'm just going to try to blend this in a little bit more. And let me just take a look. And I also brought down a sponge just to see if that would help. Ooh, it looks very pretty. Okay, so I think the thing with this is you just have to be very light-handed. It just you know it does seem like um, the cream products really grab onto that, so that could be a very good thing. But once I kind of blended this in. It looks very pretty. Okay, so you can put cream products over this. Um, it didn't lift it, anything like that. Um, it looks exactly how it looked a few minutes ago. So, yeah, there's zero, uh, zero lifting. So that is a good thing. It just really grabs onto it. Okay, you guys, let's try this blush. I'm super excited about this one. It's called the Bake uh, Blush and Brighton. It's a marbleized bl uh, blush, and it's called a Trophy Hues. Okay, it's the same packaging, but boy, that looks absolutely stunning. So uh, that is what it looks like, you guys. So maybe this is <laughs> this broken brush is actually the blush brush. Um, so let's. You guys, I just, I don't know. I don't like that br uh, that brush. So I'm actually going to use my uh, favorite, this uh, stippling brush. I'm just going to clean it off a little bit just so we don't have other products on it. And let's see how much. There is quite a bit of kickback, you guys. I will say that. And, ooh, that is a gorgeous shade here. Ooh, I love it. This is a shade that would probably, um, go with so many different eyeshadow looks because, you know, it's just that shade that is kind of neutral. <laughs> I guess if that's what you want to call that, but oh gosh, that is really pretty. Let's see if it accentuates my fine lines and wrinkles. There is like a, I don't know, like a shimmer in there um, or a glow, you know, it reminds me a lot of the Milani uh, Baked Blushes. Um, and it's probably, I would say, a pretty good dupe uh, to that. But you know what I mean? That illumination the Milani ones give off too. There's just, you know, you don't have to use a highlighter basically when you use that blush. And this is very similar. So, you guys, that is what the blush looks like. I will say my skin looks super healthy, natural, glowy. I really like how my skin looks right now. Um, yeah, just up close, you know, I feel like I'm seeing a texture, but I could, this all could be in my head. 
Um, I'm going to, you know, be interested to see what my mom says about it. Okay, so let's try this highlighter, which I am a little nervous about, again, because, the, you know, these products are super glowy on their own. So let's take a look at, um, yeah, here you guys, it's all that uh, same packaging. So this is the highlighter here. It's very tiny and hard to open, but it looks like that. So this is interesting. This almost looks a matte. Let me just see. It's called French Vanilla Baked Highlighter Natural Glow. Okay, you guys, so let's uh, just try it out. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my highlighter brush. And let's just do like the Cupid's bow. So there's, you know, since there's really nothing there, you just see what that does. So let me take a look here. Yeah, this is interesting. This looks almost more matte uh, than the other products. So I'm wondering if I'm using it wrong. Let's just take, no, yeah, as you can see, it really just highlights things. Maybe because they do know that their products are super glowy, that this just really just makes a highlight uh, without all the sparkle. So Ooh, I like that. I wonder what it would look like in the inner corner, too, of the eyes. And let's test that. Oh, ooh, I got a lot on, on there, you guys. So, yeah, this is just very interesting. It's almost like it just really brightens things without the glitter, which is nice. Um, Let's take a look here, you guys. Yeah, that actually really brightened up that inner corner. And yeah, I really do like uh, this highlighter too. So you could use this, you know, a lot of different ways. You could probably even put a very light dusting under the eyes um, because it's not super uh, glowy or glittery. So I like this, you guys. Okay, so let's go into this lipstick, and I got the shade uh, Pure Passion, I believe, oh, Pink Passion. Okay, so this is what uh, the component looks like. Again, a very uh, consistent with their line, and this is the shade here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Um, it's very different, you know, it's almost like a coral, but a uh, pink in there as well. So again, like I feel like their products, like their shades here is just very uh, neutral, you know, something that you could wear with, you know, a lot of different looks, which I do really like. So let's try out this lipstick. Ooh, it's super, super creamy. And hopefully I like the shade. I will tell you, it's super comfortable, you know, the lipstick's super comfortable, very creamy. Um, I really do like that lipstick. Yeah, I I like that. It kind of softens, you know, my wrinkles around my mouth. Um, yeah, this is a very, very nice uh, lipstick. So let me just finish up my look. I'm just going to add a little bit of my eyeshadow under the eyes, you know, take these clips out and I'll be back and we're going to talk about these products. Okay, you guys, so this is today's final look, and I will tell you, as of right now, I'm actually very happy with this purchase, and also, I forgot to mention uh, in this primer here, there are a lot of skincare benefits in here. I was just reading uh, the back on here. There's like shea butter, a jojoba, a seed oil. I mean, you guys, there is um, tons of stuff in here, so um, I'll put like here all the ingredients in uh, this primer because it's super impressive, and I do uh, like how it applied, you know, it went on really smooth uh, and it was super refreshing on my skin. So, so far, I really like that primer. And yeah, you guys, the only thing that I just have concern on uh, is that one, the illuminating powder uh, through the T-zone, you know, there was some texture really uh, showing, but looking on camera, it just looks so natural and, you know, glowy. And, but as you can see, even right through here, you're going to see uh, the texture that I am talking about, but you know, I don't know, you guys. It's almost like a pro and con type situation. Um, I really loved how it looked around the perimeter of my face. 
I can't talk today, but I just love how it looks. I think my skin looks just very fresh, youthful somehow. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it, you guys. The blush is absolutely stunning. I love the lipstick. It's super, you know, comfortable. Uh, this one here, this highlighter is pretty, you know, it's just very confusing because I'm just so used to that blingy highlighter where this, you know, looks almost more matte, you know, which is hard for me to understand. So I am going to look more into this product and see if I am using it correctly. So, um, oh, and you guys in the AOA, I actually liked a lot better today. Uh, this uh, concealer just you know for you guys' information and I don't even think I'm going to set it uh, th set this makeup today with the setting spray I just want to see how it wears on its own so I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated I'm going to put you know some pictures in I uh, hear maybe some clips just to you know throughout the day just so you can see how this does wear and I'm going to come up close so you guys can take a really good look at what this makeup looks like And I will go upstairs, you know, in natural lighting and, you know, show you what it looks like there. Okay, so this is what it looks like in natural lighting. And as you can see, you know, it kind of does show the texture there. But, you know, I do have texture. So and I didn't use my um, Maybelline Master Blur Stick or anything like that. So we got to keep that in mind. But this is what it looks like. You know, it's not drying whatsoever i think it just looks absolutely skin like it is so pretty i actually really like it you guys but i would love to hear uh, your thoughts so this is just going to be a quick check in you guys when i finished filming earlier it was like 12 49 it is now about 8 20 p.m and this is how the makeup is looking now i am in my beauty room and i do have my beauty lights on so i might turn those down in just a minute but i do want you guys to see what the makeup is looking like. Um, I do wear glasses, so I do have those indentations. That happens with any makeup I wear, you guys. It's, you know, one day I will get contacts, but this is what the makeup is looking like. Um, I think it looks pretty intact still. Um, it, you know, I still have that beautiful glow going on, but it does seem like, you know, around the T-zone, it might be a little oily, but it doesn't feel oily to the touch. It just looks it, um, I think, a little bit. But other than that, um, it looks pretty good. Now, right here, you know, again, I wear glasses where they sit. It has worn off just a little bit, but I still have makeup on my nose, uh, which is pretty impressive. So... You guys, I'm just really torn on this product. You know, again, I would love to test it um, and mix the two instead of just wearing that light illuminating a uh, product in the T-zone just to see if it will calm down, um, you know, a lot of that glow because I, you guys know how much I love a glow, but I think it's almost too much um, with that foundation. So I think the matte option is a little bit better than the color correcting one. Uh, but if you do want a little bit of glow, having the two is kind of nice to have. So um, I don't know, you guys, I think it looks really still, you know, just very natural. I'm super happy with it. I do want to play with it. I do want to try it uh, like with the foundation uh, under it and just see, you know, what the difference that makes. So yeah, you guys, I would love to hear your thoughts and what you think, how it looks on my skin. Um, I'm going to step back just a little bit and I am going to turn off this light here just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I do have just a couple lights here, but they're not uh, really strong. So as you can see, you can really see that glow now. So when I turn that big light off, that really just softens everything. So now you can really uh, get the better a uh, picture. So again, this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna step back so you guys can really uh, tell. So yeah, that's the difference, you guys, when you have <laughs> really good lighting. So. But let's see, you guys, if you can see the texture that I'm talking about. Again, you know, this is my skin. I have texture here. I always do. Um, I just feel like with the glow, it may accentuate it slightly. Um, I don't know, you guys. I, yeah, I'm just very uh, torn on this product. So I probably won't do another check-in. We got almost eight hours. That's a pretty good wear test, you guys. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of today's video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this was helpful if you were looking into these products as well. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see you again. I love you so much, and until next time.